What's going on everyone? Welcome back. We are again in New Brunfels, Texas at Titan Factor Direct Homes and we are getting ready to check out another massive double wide. This is the Rio Grande, another champion home. And this home, man, it, uh, it's got one of those uh, cool kitchens that you can't see when you walk into it. But then it also has this other kind of funky little room right off of the dining room. I didn't really know what to call it at all. Uh, looking at the floor plan, I guess it was called a retreat. But anyway, uh, I can't wait to show you that one. Uh, in terms of the specs, this is a four bedroom, two bath. It sits inside of 2,305 square feet with a footprint of 76 feet by 30 feet four inches. So another big double wide. You've got the green hardy siding going all the way around it with these nice white trimmed windows but I th man I actually wasn't I don't think I was going to tour this one at first because I got like a, a list of homes that uh, were all kind of decorated and everything and this one actually wasn't on the list but when I walked into it it was all done up and I was like yes so we kind of hit the the jackpot with this one hope you guys are having a fantastic day ready to to look at yet another beautiful manufactured home uh, oh I didn't go over the price with you yet um this home, you'd actually be surprised. It actually starts at $170,000. I was thinking it was gonna be more up in the 200,000 range. Uh, so I was quite pleasantly surprised to see that 170. Anyway, if you do want any more information on this home before we walk in, you can use the Find My Floor Plan Finder on our website at timothyplivingston.com to filter homes based on your specific needs. It's all 100% free, so definitely go check that out. You can find the link for that down in the description. All right. Now this one, this is fun because it wasn't on my list of decorated homes. So I was super excited. I figured I'd go ahead and pop in here and see what it looked like. And uh, sure enough, it, it was decorated. So kind of excited about that. Uh, this is your front entrance when you do first walk in. And then from there, that opens up into this great big living room. And as you can see, not a kitchen in sight, which this is the first plan that I've toured today that is like that. So. I really like that. And then this one's got some, some fun things happening on it uh, that I don't think we've seen before. But here in the living room, great big space. You've got three massive windows. These things are huge. And then you've got your entertainment center with all of the floating shelves. I like this because it's kind of like a floating mantle, which is super cool. And I've seen, that's kind of been the theme today. Uh, I don't know if that's like a, a Titan thing or, or what the case may be, but it's kind of cool, a little different. Of course, you could probably set it up over on this wall too, because you've got outlets on either side and it's just a nice big cutout. But we'll go ahead and uh, stick with the flow of the home. And over here to the right-hand side of the living room is the master bedroom. So plenty of space in here. This room is large and in charge. Got two windows, one on the end of the home and one on the back side of the home. And they just kind of help flood this room with some light. And then from there you come into the ensuite. You've got the double vanities, kind of like a little raised area in the middle which is kind of fun. Got these big old drawers. Not soft clothes, but I'm sure that's something you could upgrade to if you wanted to. Uh, but this one does have a super big soaking tub. I could get in here and kind of stretch my legs all the way out. And then this is another fun thing. You've got the kind of glazed glass instead of just a see-through piece of glass while you're sitting in the tub. I know blinds exist and shades exist and all that other stuff, but you know, I still, I see the, the concerns in the comments from time to time. Then you've got your shower. It's kind of a walk-in shower. It's a fun little, I haven't seen it. It's almost like it wanted to be a tub, but then it wasn't. But then it's got like a little bench in the back for foot rest. That one's actually big enough to be a bench. And then the shower head. 
Then into the closet. It's got a nice big closet right here in the bathroom. Plenty of space. This thing just kind of wraps all the way around. And then just next to that, opposite the vanities, you've got the water closet with just a single lonely toilet. All right, now from here, we'll go ahead and hop into the kitchen. This thing uh, next to the kitchen though, in the dining room area, I would almost call this like a cigar lounge or brandy room or something like that because I feel like that's where you're gonna go after dinner. But uh, we'll look at it in just a second. It sits behind those big old barn doors right there. Uh, you do have a giant dining room space though, which is super nice. And yet another first for the day, which is super cool, is a sliding glass door out into the back. All the other homes that we've been touring today have all just had uh, giant glass pane windows. So a little different than what we've been seeing, so that's nice. I think a lot of people appreciate being able to access the, you know, your backyard. But next to the dining room, again, you've got these two big old barn doors that can close this space off. I don't know what it's used for. Maybe it's like a little den area. Uh, maybe the kid's playroom. I'm not real sure. Let me know down in the comments uh, what you would use this space for. It is nice and big. It's got plenty of outlets. It's got a nice big window. Interesting. At first I thought it was gonna be like the big old pantry, but then I found the pantry. So I was like, well, that's not it. Anyway, coming into the kitchen, you got a nice big buffet over here. You've got the kind of glazed glass cabinets on the uppers and then on the bottoms. You've got plenty of storage down there as well. Next to that, this is where the pantry is. So not a real big pantry, but a pantry nonetheless. bigger than the homes we've toured without them that's for sure and in this island it is huge got plenty of storage on that end some seating I love these stools these stools look really fun then on this end you've got even more cabinets you've got the three pendant lights hanging down over the top and then more cabinets you've got the pot and pan drawers on this side and just a big, thick countertop too. Then on the opposite side, you've got plenty of counter space, kind of wraps around in an L down there. Uh, big old stainless sink looking out into the backyard. We got the DR Horton homes back there. Might have to go check that out for the other channel. Anyway, there are, Texas, oh my goodness. There are homes everywhere in Texas. I feel like you can't throw a rock without some type of subdivision or model home somewhere. I enjoy it, I appreciate it, you know, more content that we get to share with you guys, but uh, it is crazy how much it's building up. Anyway, you've got the stove, your range hood, kind of a fun little range hood, kind of squared off, a little different. And then plenty of cabinets on this side and counter space, which is super nice. And then your refrigerator and some open shelves above that. Now, this is where all of the secondary bedrooms lie, plus the den, which makes me even more curious as to what the room off the dining room would be used for, since there already is a living room and a den. Anyway, you have two bedrooms sitting up towards the front of the home that are basically mirrored images of each other. The only difference is, is that this one just kind of stands alone. It doesn't have access to direct access to the bathroom where this one that we're going into right now has direct access into like a Jack and Jill that also shares access from the den so a lot happening in there but this room's about the same size I think I'll have to once I get my hands on the plan I'm sure you'll know before I do but into its closet and then from there, you can come into this Jack and Jill, which is kind of a fun layout because you've got a single vanity on this side. Ooh, it's got a medicine cabinet too. 
And then you've got a single vanity on the opposite side. This one actually has more counter space, which I like. Uh, but then it also has uh, vanity up above that or medicine cabinet rather. And then plenty of storage sitting right next to that one. Then you've got the toilet and then back behind us, you've got a shower and tub combo with plenty of space. Now there are two other access points. You can go into the other bedroom or you can go out into the den, which uh, let's just go ahead and go this way. That way we can check out the furnace right here. And then we'll get in to the den. Then we'll hit up the, the fourth bedroom. So another nice space. This just is tucked away off the kitchen. Uh, you've got three great big windows sitting back there. I'm sure you could put the, maybe put all the furniture over here uh, and then you can put a TV on this end or vice versa. You put all the furniture kind of where the couch is now and then along this wall and then you put the TV over there. That probably makes more sense uh, to me anyway. But then into the fourth bedroom, this one is a lot larger, kind of more elongated. And then you've got its closet, which the closet's about the same size, but in terms of the bedroom size, I think this is the bigger of the three. Then all the way at the far end of the home, this is where uh, the laundry room is. So you've got a wash basin right here, kind of angles a fun way. I was, when I first walked in here, I didn't even pay attention to it. I was just thinking it was along the back wall. Uh, not that it makes a big difference, but just something I noticed. Anyway, you've got the back door and then behind all these chairs are the washer dryer hookups. You've got a shelf, you've got like a utility closet back here. So you can store maybe like your cleaning stuff. Maybe it's a coat closet. You want to use it for that since it's got, it's right next to the side entrance and then some just more space along the back wall. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model, I'll leave that information for you right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country, and you can see if they're built in your area. You can also filter them down based off of a whole number of different uh, filters, so super fun and exciting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tour. My name's Timothy, and I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.